recently just thinking, what is excellence? Um, you know and, what I, yeah. if I could be honest, the excellence, when I was younger, uh, scholarship and excellence, you know, whatever they beat it in your head. Yeah. But when I was an undergraduate, I was doing a lot of different things. And a wise woman said to me, she said, you know, you're doing all of these things and we think that you're wonderful. We do. But how many of them are you doing with excellence? Hmm. And it made me, I was a little like offended. Like what? Uh -huh. You saying I'm lackluster? And I think I did say that. I think I was like, you know, I got offended. Like, oh, so you're saying I'm basic. And she was like, no, what I'm asking you is no. How many of them do you believe that you're doing with excellence? And it, hmm. and it made me sit down to think about what excellence meant to me. That's Cause really she good. didn't implant what she thought excellence was. Yeah. She asked me. So I think that that's something that we should ask ourselves is how we may be doing a lot of different things, but how many of them are we doing with excellence? And I mean, we know that excellence is going to be defined differently. Like I get that. That excellence is going to be defined differently, but I think it's something that should be thought about. Yeah. When we're creating it ourselves. Now that was like the mm -hmm. pushback that I got was like, well, who's creating this standard? That's, I mean, there was another system that was creating a standard and people got so caught up in what that system was. They forgot mm -hmm. that they can just create their own system of excellence. So what, what, and again, this is just rewording what we're all saying in our generation, like being our best selves, being our higher self, you know, mm -hmm. being our, you know, living our best life. Yeah. So let's standardize that for ourselves. What does that mean? I know when I wake up at this time, I feel good. I know mm -hmm. when I eat this meal, I feel good. I know when I'm with this person. And not to say like that's excellence, but that's just our own standard of being our best self or our own standard. And then how can we apply that to our art? Okay, I know what making this kind of art makes me feel X, and Y, and Z. And... I mean, it's going to have different components, I would imagine. But one thing for me is a challenge. Mm. Like, I, I like a little challenge, mm -hmm. a, you know, that makes me feel like, okay, I, I, I can do this. A, a little challenge makes me feel like, okay, I'm, I'm operating. Because I'm going to push through it, and I'm, I'm going to get to whatever goal it is that I'm looking forward to do, with, you know, whether it's art, art or whatever. But I do think that a little challenge helps me. Not not creating challenge for myself. Right, different. Not create right, not Very not being my different. own stumbling block, not oh, creating damn. my own problems. Know about that. But well, <laughs> to say that's a different episode for a different time. Sure is. But I do think that with a little rig with rigor, I think excellence comes with 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 some rigor. With some rigor that we imply that we implement ourselves. Yeah. I was saying before I I create deadlines for myself. That's what mm -hmm. helps me. I need to get this this thing done by this date. And I came up with that. It wasn't no boss, even though I took that system of like deadlines when it comes mm. to the work for. But that was the whole point. We remix it so it works for us. But we create. You know what that reminded me of? What's that? When you said that. What's that? Certain things that works for me for and other things it does not. No. Creating like my own deadlines. Like. Right. What I realized if if I have a deadline and it is for someone else or for for a different cause or something that is not related to something I'm creating solely, I'm more apt to like do it and do it faster and mm. do it like with a lot of more energy than mm. if it's something that's just me. And I'm realizing that. And I think that like being honest about that for sure, kind of talks about like when I said, okay, if there's a need that I feel like I can help, then I tend to be more um, proactive and I tend to have more energy in re reaching that deadline. And I'm examining myself, right, seeing what is what is that, right? Because I see how you are with your deadlines. You're like, oh, no, I'm going to write this. I need to do this. I'm going to get oh, this man. done. And I'm like, and that's good for you, baby. Right, right, right. You know, and I'm not to say something is better or worse, but to examine, like, if I want to get some things done that, that is related to my own art form, what do I need to put in place to make sure that not only is getting done, but getting done with excellence and with fun? Treat your work as, treat your work as that. Treat yourself as that. And I think that that perspective cuts out the excuse in the bullshit. Because I think that sometimes we can get caught up in the, well, this is like this, and this is like that, and people always say this, and yeah, then there may be structures put in place, but what are you doing right. to ensure that things are being changed, that narratives or that the narratives or story that you want to see out there are getting out there? If you're just complaining about it, and yeah. you're not really doing anything that is within your wheelhouse to make some kind of change, then... Mm -hmm. They're just excuses. They're just excuses. And I don't got time for excuses personally. Uh, time is of the essence. You know, mm -hmm. some people are not here to, to make their dreams come true. I'm grateful to be here in this position and to be practicing. And it feels like putting on a new hat at the same time, too. You know, yeah, like it, it, it feels very new. And we were talking about like the scariness factor to it. But it's like, man, just showing up. 
is is that experience. And just showing up to some theater is just that experience just as that well. Experience. Um, being able to have your own filter, like your own lens of like what it is that you're producing or what it, what it is that you're viewing. And that's a part of what we're doing here at Seven Stages. It is. And listen. Yeah. 